Former general manager Kevin Cheveldayoff led the Chicago Wolves to four championships, helming the organization in its hockey operations for a decade. He left in 2009 to join the Chicago Blackhawks staff as an assistant general manager and helped lead that team to its first Stanley Cup in nearly 50 years. But for Chevy, home is where the heart is, and like many who have come and gone from this organization, a part of him will always call Chicago home. It became more, you know, as the years went on, it became more of, uh, you know, more of my family than, uh, than my job. And uh, it, uh, you know, still to this day, it's, uh, it's a very, very special part of uh, all, all of my life, my family and, and our lives. We have a core covenant, and the first thing on it is family first. And so that, that one statement encompasses a lot of things, like your, your, your immediate family, but also your hockey family. So, you know, just that first statement, I think, is, uh, it, it, it speaks volumes. It's a first-class place. You know, everybody who has played there knows uh, it's, it's a special place. And, uh, you know, it starts from the trainers and coaches and everybody at the, at the front office, just, uh, just great people. I come back to this building now and you know you see the same cops outside and the same people running the game ops and and people you know wherever it is and they remember you and and that's you know for a minor league system to remember who you are and and how you've participated in the organization um, I mean, it's pretty pro pretty proud for me I get you know people from outside this organization in different pro groups that, you know, I was, in, I was at the Allstate Arena and saw your jersey and, you know, saw people talking about you. I mean, you hear little, little stories like that and it, you get an awful lot of self-pride. I believe that the team has their niche and, and it's, you know, it is what it is. It's a great family atmosphere. People that go to games for the first time love it because they're, it's not all that expensive and they're entertained nonstop. As long as, you know, they have the same model, which, you know, there really isn't an official model, but to me, it's, it's families first. And uh, that's what the organization has preached all my years. And uh, as long as that doesn't change, I mean, because people have been here so long that they, it feels like it's a second home for them. It's a second family. It just went to show that there was always passion, even in the years where there was down times. Um, you know, there was never, ever a moment where it was going to be acceptable to just say, well, it's not our year, that's it, that's okay. We just, we just wouldn't allow it. We wouldn't have it and couldn't have it. And, uh, um, but again, it just made that when you did have the opportunity to win, um, just made it that much more special. What people don't appreciate, I think, is that um, just because you're not in the National Hockey League um, and you're running a team at a different level, they, they think that it's, it's different, but it's really not. Like you put probably as much, if not more, time and effort and thought into um, you know, anything that you do. And this is a great responsibility. This is a great honor. And um, you know, it's something that um, you know, each and every day you wake up and try to move that franchise forward just you know, one more step. He never stopped thinking about hockey. And uh, I remember we were on a plane one day and coming back and the I had just instituted a salary cap. I think it was at 1.2 million, was that what it was at, Don? Something like that. And uh, Chevy's reading this article in Sports Illustrated where uh, a football team insured all of the, all of the uh, bonuses at the end. So it was almost like placing a bet that, so you can insure it for like a quarter of what it would cost you to pay. So Chevy goes, well, why don't we do that? And we ended up doing it, and we ended up, I think we won that year, went to the finals, and the, the bonuses were, were way up there, but we kept under the cap because we, we paid less for that. So, I mean, he was always thinking. On February 16th, 2013, the Wolves dedicated a banner to Chevy with a ceremony honoring his dedication to the franchise. Fans, Kevin Cheveldayoff was the architect of all four Chicago Wolves championship teams. In 12 seasons as our general manager, he racked up a staggering number of accolades for the organization, including four division titles, five conference championships, two Turner Cup championships, and two Calder Cup championships. During his tenure, no Wolves team posted a losing record, and the club made the playoffs in 10 of 12 seasons. Chevel Dayoff has a proven track record as a champion both on and off the ice. Tonight we recognize him for bringing that standard to the Chicago Wolves, a consummate professional, respected leader, and trusted friend. We were privileged to have him here for 12 years, 
Please join in a round of applause for one of the men who helped define the Chicago Wolves as a winning franchise, Kevin Sheveldayoff. It's like in a blink of an eye those things, uh, you know, have happened. But when I uh, sat down to talk uh, or think about different things from a, a banner raising uh, perspective and, uh, and stuff like that, um, you know, it was, uh, it was something that um, I was so grateful for. And, uh, you know, a lot of the things that we talked about here today, you know, went into my thinking, you know, when I was sitting there because there's so many different things happened, the championships, the, uh, the relationships. Um, but most of all, I think it's, uh, you know, it is the, the relationships that I've, um, I've uh, gained and, and maintained and, uh, and grown, you know, over the years. It's a very humbling experience to, uh, to see something like that happen, um, where your, 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 your banner goes up. Uh, to be beside, you know, obviously guys like Johnny, um, you know, to be beside, a, you know, a player like Maltz, uh, Steve Malte, a player like Wendell, you know, how much they've contributed to, uh, to the organization. And then uh, you know to be uh, to be up there with people like uh, Dan Snyder and, and Tim Breslin, who um, you know again, when you lose family members, you know those are those are people that uh, you know you, you think about fondly, you know, uh, in, in in different lights. Um, but you know, like I may have left the Chicago Wolves, but I've really never left home. You know, and, and uh, this has always been my you know my home. This is where I've uh, been given the chance to uh, to become a general manager and. And you know, it was interesting when I left the Wolves for the Blackhawks. Um, the, the 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 thing that basically allowed me to leave was when I sat with uh, with Don Levin, and uh, you know, Don said to me, he said, Chevy says, you know, he says, uh, I don't want you to go, but it's time for you to leave. And uh, you know, that kind of that was that was a good moment for me. And because um, I think of Don, um, you know, Don's like my dad. You know, my dad died when I was when he was very young, and uh, you know he's a he's a special person in my life. Chevy led by example and established this franchise as a family first organization. It is a mantra that still guides the Chicago Wolves as the team embarks on its next 20 years in Chicago. Thank you for watching Daring Greatly. Here's to the next 20 years.